Da, tell my wife, tell her I'm not here. <laughs> he, Jory called right when I was about to eat, right? And Joe cooked some Dayan, what's that rib name? Short ribs. Short ribs. So my friend Sarita asked me to make her a couple of cakes, but she got sick and couldn't pick it up. So her son and daughter-in-law came. Lovely people, lovely. And I gave almost all the powder bun. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't be eating this. The kids bought this. If you saw my Vlogmas Day 24, because this is Joe Vlogmas Day 24, mm -hmm. I talked about making the, um, what am I making again? Cheesecake. Cheesecake, I want to say lemon pie. The cheesecake out of this cookie. We call it the white one, right? But it's golden. It's not white, it's golden. I opened the thing, and what I looked up was missing. Oh, I have, what? Yes! I had to call, Jada made something from it. I had to call him and say, did you open this? Because this was tampered with. And they go, oh, no, 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 we touched it. So what I'm doing right here is just taking the cream. You want to help me, babe? You think you could help me to get out some cream? All right. Okay, well, let's just talk. <laughs> but don't eat no more of these cookies because you're going to eat a, a powder bun right now and that's too much sweet, okay? I got to take care of my boo because my boo takes care of me, right? Right? Every morning he he get up and make wonderful breakfast. I love it. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. So, in Joe Vlogmas yesterday, we talked about Simone Biles and her trifling husband. Simone Biles and her husband give me Kiki Palmer and the next dude, whoever that baby daddy was, vibes. That it, it looks all hunky-dory right now. They just got married in April of this year. They met through some online dating thing. And it's a dating site where, like, Poor people like me and you mm -hmm. can't get on there. It oh, gotta be people of means. Mm -hmm. So the guy, I guess, is some kind of football player. Um, not soccer. The next one, American football. And um, I guess he he never been picked. Just lately been picked. I think he's like coming up. And Simone, I think Simone Biles don't, Biles don't want him to feel bad because she's a superstar. Let's face it, she is a superstar. And, and I'm not one of those Belizeans where like, oh my God, Simone Biles is Belizean because she's raised by a Belizean grandma. No, the grandma is not a blooded, a full-blooded grandma. It's a step-grandma, right? This the grandpa's wife. And so um, I don't count it as Belizean. I don't count her as Belizean, but most Belizeans do count her as Belizean. But that don't mean I don't like her. When I say that, people think, oh, you don't like her? You're a hater? No, I'm not a hater. She's, oh, she's not, not Belizean. But she's not Belizean. She's, no, she's not Belizean she's by American. blood. I don't know. Maybe she's Belizean by naturalization. No, I don't know that. Yeah, no, but... Maybe she filled out paperwork and then if she did, she's Belizean. Because nobody can tell me I'm not American. I have my American naturalization paper right here, right? Mm -hmm. So I want, I want to take it back if I found out that she was naturalized. But she's raised by a Belizean grandma, and I don't know the lady. But these older Belizean women, I wish Jada was here to put in her two cents. They're at the store right now. Because these older Belize women, they, they come from a particular type of rules. Where it's like, the men come first, the boy child come first. I think a lot of Caribbean people are like that, right? In the people in their in the 50s, man. Maybe people in the South too are like that, right? No, no, I don't think The boy people, people come first, the, bro the brothers come first, the daddy come first, the uncles come first. And even if they are, what I want to say, olesterizers, the, the, the boy, the boy, the dad, the uncle, they will still protect them and defend them. You know what I mean? Those women come from a particular era. So earlier when Jada was talking Simone Biles with me, she said, and sorry about those older Belizean women, their husband have three and four families on the side. Where's, where's the lie in that, right? So I don't know if that lady had input in her life that way to make her feel like you need this person to make you complete. You know what I mean? They say if, you, if another person is responsible for your joy and making you feel good, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Because when that person decides to pull that attention away or leave you or whatever, you're going to crumble. You have to be responsible for your own joy, your own feel good, your own everything, right? And the first thing, love yourself. Love thyself. Remember when that girl write the book and said, Know Thyself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and her grandmother told me the book was called Know Thy Effing Self. <laughs> and you could love somebody, but don't love them more than how you love yourself. You can love I'm them. just saying. No, you could love I'm them. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Because like, we two lovers, they, they love each other. But I'm not that crazy kind of people that love that. Oh, this is, this is, this is, they're going to die. I'm going to be. No. I already tell you guys all the time. If we I were to, street. if I were to die, no, Joe would make it. No, no, no. Let, 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 let me blend. Let me blend. I say you would make it. I didn't say you would miss me. I say you would make it. 
Because you would. You know what I'm talking about, how, people, how some people love somebody. Why is this so hard to use? Uh-huh. Go ahead, baby. They go crazy because it, they love their, their wife or their husband more how they love themselves. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. They don't care about themselves and just care about that somebody. I think that is stupid. I hate this thing. I, I, what happened? I could never get it to see. That. Oh, there we go. Hold on. So we're going to use the crumb for the pie shell. Can you get me a bowl, Daddy, to put it in? That's not so, <laughs> so the So um, the next topic I want to talk about mm. is TD fakes, TD snakes, TD jakes. <laughs> so TD jakes is being dragged for filth all over black Twitter, all over black YouTube, as he should. I don't know if what they're saying about him is true, and I'm not going to repeat it because nobody has sued me. Go, go Google it. It's all over the place. But I believe most of it. Right? Mm -hmm. I believe about 93% of it. <laughs> and so I see Donat has a show planned for 5 o'clock. It probably starting right now because it's 5.19. Where he says, TDJ, sir, you are content. Nobody believes you. I said, ooh, that's going to be a good one. I got to go see it. So, um, okay, this is my thoughts on him going to Diddy party. He go to that kind of party? He go to Diddy party. Mm-hmm. For a preach, I shouldn't go to those kind of parties. Yeah. So, there was somebody that I knew once upon a time that told me that the preacher from the church I used to attend used to go on this boat that was owned by one of these boxers. Do you want a boxer name? I think it's not Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler. Okay, if, if it's wrong, we won't fix it. Him or, and he used to have parties and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And this person said that preacher used to be on that boat all the time. They didn't say what he was doing on the boat, just that he was on the boat. And I didn't believe the person. Honestly, I didn't. And then, not that I don't think that my, that, not that I think my preacher's above that, right? Because I don't put them as de deity or whatever. But I just never heard him say that. He tells on himself all the time when we were in church. He talked about going to Plum Tree. That's a nightclub down there in LA from back in the 80s, right? So he tells on himself all the time. So he would have told that too. So um, tell me why one day the preacher was preaching. What are you doing, honey? Or you just wiping the thing out? I kept thinking the plate was in your way. So the preacher was preaching and the preacher said that once upon a time he used to go on that boat and he said he used to go there to save the people like to, to minister to them and let them know change your life yada 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 now the person who told me the story never told me any negativity that he she saw the man doing and i think the man even like counseled him slash her right that's all i remember from the story so but my thought is, why if you are a man of God, why are you going in these secular parties like this? Where you know them people doing freaky stuff? You know, my son, Jory, told me one time he had a friend that he went to high school with. The, the girl used to pick him up all the time in her little truck she was driving from. She young, right? And one day, they were just friends. And I said, Jory, where are your little friend? How come she don't pick you up no more? No more can I I got to blend it. I said, how come she don't pick you up no more? And Jory said she started to smoke and drink. And I'm not going to ride in a car with somebody who drink. And I said, oh my God, Jory, but you guys have been friends forever. I said, I agree, don't ride in the car, whatever, but don't break friendship over that. I said, why can't you like be a good influence on her and counsel her, so to speak, right? Like, don't do this, you know, friend, yada, yada. And Jory says, mommy, I don't know, you know if you know anything about the weak and the strong, but the weak always brings down the strong. And I said, what does that mean, right? And he says, you ever see a, a strong swimmer, no, a person drowning in the ocean and a strong swimmer goes out to help them and they're so scared they hook that swimmer around the neck to the point that they choke them out and they both drown. <laughs> or most of the time, the, 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 the weak person will live and the strong person will die. And he said, I'm not there for that. She won't learn. Let me, let me blend again.
Jory said, I'm not about that life. Joe, I'm going to dump this out, but there's a big one in there. Can you get it out for me? Search it and see if there's any big pieces. When you put the melted butter on this, it's going to be wet like beach sand, like when beach sand gets wet. Let's do a... Let's do a few more type of slain right here, Joe. And then we're going to see if that's enough. Okay, let's do this amount. What do we do with this? Put it right back in the cheesecake. Shh, don't tell nobody. You put that in cheesecake? It's cheesecake mixed with, um, what do you call this thing? Cream cheese? Put that right back in there. Anybody this is a cream cheese? No, this is just cream. Put that right back in there. Oh, I'm not using from the bag, right? Yeah, so TD Jakes, I don't know why you were going to, um, where the place name? Freaknik. You probably got a burning man too. Ooh, child. Yeah, but I don't like TD Jakes, so I'm here for it. Uh, yeah. I'm here for the downfall. You fake from first. Mm -hmm. I don't like that man at all. From the time I make that movie, woman do what lose I'm like I'm done. I don't uh, like the this, movie at all. Uh, this preacher out there is a cook. The majority of them is a mm -hmm. cook. Even from Joe Osteen, I believe he might be a little bit more packaged more decently. But I, all the preachers is about the money. Okay, they study every day how to get the money out of the out of the um, people. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So then they say Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein um, list is going to be out public from the government. It's going to be out public on January the 1st, don't you know? January the 1st, and next week Monday, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is Christmas. Next week Monday, the list is coming out. Child, all I know, my handsome governor from California better not be on that list. That handsome Justin Trudeau from Canada better not be on that list. Prince Harry better not be on that list. Just saying. Just saying, okay? I'm going to go get the pie, pie dish. Hold on. Talk to your people, Daddy. Hey, people. Some people might not like what I'm saying, but the majority of these preachers these days, all this study is about how to get your money. They will tell you... I used to go to church, they would tell you that you got to keep your tithes. I agree with that because the church got to say, well, of course. But then they get so ridiculous, they want a thousand dollars every time you go to church. A hundred dollars, nothing. That's a hundred dollars to them is a dollar. They don't take a hundred dollars no more. First, when I used to go to church and I get twenty dollars, I said, wow, twenty dollars? <laughs> and then I get used to it. <laughs> I think that's enough, right, Joe? Where the burner say? Yeah. yeah, that's enough. And then after that, they up it. A mm -hmm. hundred dollars. No, they don't up it to no hundred dollars. Wait, wait, wait. They wait, want ten percent of your money. Tell how the years go by. Oh, okay. So in between maybe two, three years, and then after mm -hmm. about five years, it's a thousand dollars. Yeah, thousand dollar seed. And then you got what are what are they? What you got? You're offering. You got your tie. Five. What else you got? Arm. Arm. And Turuma. <laughs> so. And don't forget that when they want to pay off for their land, oh yeah. when, the, when the bishop wanted to pay off for the land, they had a special assessment that they charged every member. So if they owed 140000 on the land, they counted how many members they have, which a lot of them were not still members. Mm -hmm. And they divvied up. And they said each person have to give this much. And if you went up there, like, let's say the amount was $200, that's not your tithe. That's outside of your tithe. That's your special assessment. Because they had a land that they wanted to pay off for so that they could get a better loan or get the loan on a whole to build this big, um, what the hell they got? A church. They already have a There's nice a big church. church. But first, they want to put that new tower. They want to put a big A steeple. A steeple in the church where you when you when not, not in the church uh -huh. at the side of the freeway in the so church. that was gonna be separate that gonna be separate mm. so people will go people from you can see if praying up there from the freeway yeah people gonna be in the tower praying and from the freeway when you drive by you can see the people in there praying and that's what they want to build first then a massive church that could hold what five thousand five thousand people and they have a nice church you know and then uh, they were gonna have like a um, a gated community for homes. And they were gonna have a business complex, you and know, they already have a school. They already have an elementary you school. You know what huh? I'm telling you? Uh huh. Um, how the guy name where where happened? How the place name? Um, Who? When I got gated community and got them. Jim Jones. Jim Jones. Jim Jones. 
<laughs> so down the street from the church they have uh it was first uh correct me if i'm wrong it was it was a girl's home first and they changed it to a boy's home right mm -hmm. or vice versa right. something, something like that I think and it was a boy's home, but that's the home that they wanted to pay off completely so if that debt was satisfied then the loan for everything else they wanted to do Which would have gone did. through they, they, they pay off for it okay. yeah the people gave the money mm -hmm. people gave the money and then people they didn't care if those people could pay their light bill their baby school fees buy food they didn't care but that's why that it money. says trust god and give them your light bill give them your, your rent give them your, your, your kid commission mm -hmm. and your kid you commission <laughs> tuition <laughs> tuition your kid tuition, tuition. Uh -huh. tuition. And see if God is going to turn around and bless you a hundredfold next day. That not happen yet. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. And they don't only there for hear from God. You, you as a regular parishioner slash member, you don't hear from God. You're not that only intelligent. Them. <laughs> only them. God <laughs> speaks to them. The prophets and the prophetesses. And then they tell you what to do. And it's always you ain't doing right. Mm -hmm. And one of these days you is going to get rich. And once in a blue moon, they're correct. Like B loves, they had prophesied to her that she was going to be a millionaire, and she became a millionaire. Once in a blue moon, they get it right, just like the psychics. Once in a blue moon, they get it right too. Mm. Tied and offering uh -huh. the highway rabbi of the 28th century. Was it that black guy? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he was writing a book. Is it the one that said, um, what was his, what was his tongue? Talk in his tongue? No, no, it wasn't. It's him. not him. No, it's this, another one. This guy was in Pomona. We went to a church in Pomona. He was it. writing a book. I'm gonna go look to see if he ever wrote it. Tithe and offering the new highway robbery of the 21st century. Okay. That's what he was naming the book. <laughs> and, and he was a preacher. And he's right. He was a preacher. He wasn't a regular common person like me and Joe. Then when it comes to like the Catholic religion, because I wasn't raised Catholic, I was real, raised Anglican or Episcopalian, which is same, same but different, right? You guys look it up but the i don't like that the pope and the what do you call it? like philip uncle monsignor the monsignor and the pope and all the people have this authority to come back and say okay god says now we can do this for 50 million years we couldn't do this because it was an abomination but now we can do this and then usually people hate them the but same way god could talk to them god could talk to you all you got to do is believe do i never like believed in pray. confession Pray and ask you, God. you know how in Catholic go to confession? Mm. I never believed in that. Please. I think my grandmother used to say, I tell no, I confess to no man. I confess to God. And what they could have that by you, man? Mm -hmm. Then they talk about the seal of the confession. Let me play this one. I think I got it all, guys. Go ahead, baby. You I don't have to, to go to no church to be saved and make hope for God will give you for stuff because once you do the right thing, treat people right, be, be kind to people, and if you help somebody else, if you can, that's what it's life all about. Well, they claim in order to be saved, you have to do Romans 10, 9. Believe that God is, yeah, that yeah, he came, no, that he's going to come again. Nothing wrong and with that, that. And they claim, that. they claim once you believe that nobody went to hell, but yet there's Bash Carlton Pearson, the bishop that just died, because he said there's no hell. My grandmother used to tell me that. Child, there ain't no hell. Your hell is right here on this earth. So make, make sure you do good, right? So if they're saying that all you have to do is confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus that he came, that he you know died, that he's going to come again, and you're saved and you're going to go to heaven, then what's this thing about hell? That means ain't nobody going to hell. Not even Donnell Trump going to hell if he believes that. He said he don't believe. There's a the lot of crap they tell you. That you don't know. I mean... It, it is crap. We believe in God, don't Because we were raised really believing in God. But if you go to study the Holy Spirit, Hoopla and all that kind of stuff, man, we got you confused. You know, got me confused. Well, I mean, you know, I'm confused, but the younger people are different that don't really know about God and different things. You no, know, got me confused. Uh uh. Ain't nobody going to Jim Jones me. And I remember when it came to Jim Jones, then people never drink the Kool Aid, you know? A lot of people did not drink that Kool Aid. Can you give this 15 seconds for me? They no. didn't drink the Kool Aid. They, they did that to them when they wouldn't drink the Kool Aid. crazy guys. I'm going to bring the oven up to 350. This is what we have. Well, we, we used to go to church every Sunday and all that kind of stuff. But So then we used to go two times yeah, a day yeah. on Sunday. But I got to look at it. All the crap that's going on in church these days. I don't need it. Are y'all to the point 
I could do bad all by myself. When we went to the church, Joe stayed outside. I would go in like 15 minutes early, 10, 15 minutes early. Joe wait till church start. And Joe said if the pastor could walk in 10 minutes into church, I could walk in same time. Because the pastor doesn't, at those evangelical type churches, the pastor doesn't walk in when the church starts, when the service starts. They walk in when the choir is like on the last two songs. And the choir will sing a fast song, a couple of slow songs on a fast song. And that's when the pastor will come in and they walk with in his suitcase, with his briefcase, right? And he's six and he's six by the guard with dust like yeah, the president. What do you call the people behind them? I, I not, I should, um, not acolyte. What do you call the people that protect them in the evangelical church? I forgot. I adjutant. 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 Their adjutant walks in with them. And you can't sit right behind the pastor in the church because the adjutants and them sit there. And it's whole oh, oh, heap of rule. Because when I go to church, I like being in the front row. I don't be hiding in the back. And so, um, me sit on the whole time because I tired. You sit in the church to how much money you give. Honestly, it's true. If you are a giver that give a $500, a $1,000, they have told the the thousand dollar. So we feel like beat son. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Go ahead, baby. Gonna we'll be in the second seat behind the preach behind the, the pastor. I'm serious. The five hundred one go to the third, and maybe like the three four hundred go. go hey, to you gonna break my thing, man? And like me, we go to the back because we get twenty bucks. No, we don't give no damn twenty bucks. We used to give her tithe when we, we first started that church. I we know, used to I give know. her tithe, and then I stopped and I started to give my mom the tithe. But remember that one couple? that sat behind us or in front of us the one where the lady always look unhappy mm -hmm. right and they um were big givers because whenever the pastor said bring five thousand dollars they jump up they were making money they were right? making money so then they reached out to us and asked us to turn them on to the girl that does the graphics for our bottles when we had the bottle printing company because they needed graphics for like something they were doing i don't know t-shirts i don't know what the hell they were doing and I was reluctant because I don't trust church people. Church people is the worst people doing any kind of business with. Oh God! Or give so reference to for. I warned the girl. I tell the girl because she worked for somebody. She worked for a boss, right? And I said, Jenny, no trust their people. They come from the church. Because I will warn. I'm one of those people that will warn, right? I said, I don't know. They're rich. They have money because they always go up there when the pastor call for a lot of money. But um, these rich people don't like to pay their bill. That's how they keep their money. I said, so make sure you get your money up front. She said, okay, so I guess she charged half front, up front, right, to design the thing. Mm -hmm. And then when they actually got the graphics, they never want to pay the next half. And it wasn't a lot of money. I want to say it was a couple hundred dollars, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it wasn't Jenny money. It was her boss's money. And um, man, I had to go to them people in the church and say, hey, you can't do that to my, to my friend. You know, she works for that man. And they go, oh, they made some kind of excuse. I don't know if they ever did get the money. But it's not like I didn't warn them. These are church people. Don't trust them. Because that's how I roll. The church people think I'm supposed to give them everything. You know, my son Jory has to do student teaching. Because he's going to be a teacher. He's getting his credentials. And we were praying for him to get an internship because that pays. The student teaching doesn't pay for 14 weeks starting January 8th to like April 19th. He won't get a paycheck. His wife is going to have to hold down the fort, right? And um, he was going to go do like the internship at one of these Christian schools. Mm -hmm. And we talked him out of it. And his wife talked him out of it. It's like, you're not going to like it. They already said you have to come to church two times a week. We've got to have two people that's not your friends or family vouch for your spirituality. You're baking something? This? Huh? <laughs> you're not ready yet, though. No. What else did tell her? You have a tithe. So they're going to give you the money, but you have to give it right back. I can buy you or die. Mm -hmm. So, when you, when, when you join the church, you want to know what kind of job you got. What this, what kind of business, how is business, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Business making money, you know what? Oh, when they heard what kind of business we did, they said, that the pastor said some scripture where he said, Oh, you guys are doing business in deep waters. Deep water. He, he dip, deep waters. I'm like, where did Ross up? No, some yeah. scripture. Yeah, a deep offering. <laughs> you are you stupid? Sometimes I think they think people are stupid. Honestly, that's what I think. Then Let me show them what to do to make the middle. 
one cream cheese no name brand this is a must eagle brand is a must when you're making lemon pie and cheesecake don't get the other crap it's too runny and then real lemon juice and it's like a third cup of the real lemon juice blend it up real nice with a hand mixer and then pop it into this one this is baked and put it covered up and well not covered up right away put it in the fridge and then cover it up after it sets it, it needs at least three hours this is going to be ready tomorrow for christmas i right? say folks man i used to go to church they never used to like me so much because they couldn't use me or get over me they never used to like that tell them about the auxiliary <coughs> hmm? tell them about the auxiliary which one make i, make I start a new chinese so there was a <coughs> sewing auxiliary and jada wanted to take this to belong to the sewing auxiliary because Jerry wanted to learn how to sew. Mm -hmm. And it was right before mommy passed, like a couple years before mommy passed. Mommy could have taught her, but mommy lived far away. So when he went to join the auxiliary, Joe went with us because I can't drive at night. I can't see the drive at night. It's, it's my vision is poor at night. And it's this time of the year when dark mm -hmm. setting pretty early. Mm -hmm. So it starts like five in the evening, but it's dark, right? So Joe went with us. And Joe was actually waiting in the car for us. He didn't mind. One second, darling. The water darling so um they they invite joe in the women you know the, you know the old women's love joe so they invited joe in and when they saw all the skill and talent joe have to do arts and craft and silk screening and this that and the third oh child they signed him up right away for the auxiliary so joe was the only man in the women's sewing auxiliary <laughs> the auxiliary wasn't for women it was for anybody but no man gonna join that right mm -hmm. so joe joined because of jada <coughs> so i was there too because of jada but i don't know how to do no damn arts and craft so joe make a um, makeshift silk screen out of wood and put the mesh and everything and he he hand screened pieces of fabric where they sewed it and made pillows so the fabric had um scriptures on it and they sewed it joe didn't sew it he just had silk screen man they have him working like a runaway slave Making all that stuff for what? To sell it so they could give the pastor mm -hmm. money for his birthday in May. Yeah, when pastor birthday. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta you gotta give it for the pastor because his birthday. Mm -hmm. Pastor end up getting about five thousand dollars for his birthday. A lot of money. So what? When I have our birthday, they don't give we it. We can we can afford Popeyes <laughs> or McDonald's, right? They don't care. So uh, and they tell you if you broke, it's because you didn't tithe, mm -hmm. or you've um what do you call it um dishonored somebody. That's mm -hmm. why you're broke. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the men, they were doing like mentoring the young men in the church. That's their auxiliary that met on the same day in a different building at the, at the campus. And they wanted Joe to join that one. They wanted him to mentor young boys. And Joe said, I don't want to mess with these American young boys. They're they going to tell lies on me. Uh-uh. That was his belief. And so he wasn't about that life. And they were mad, right, Joe? They got mad. They got really mad. And the men at the church... The men who are the elders, they didn't like for me to speak for Joe. I know some of you don't like it either at his page. But he's hearing impaired and sometimes he doesn't hear and sometimes he takes longer to say what he wants to say. I can rattle it off quicker. So I spoke for him and I said, um, Sir, Sir, Mr. Greenwich, we want you to come to the auxiliary on Monday. And I said, um, Sir, 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 he's already belonging to the sewing auxiliary and he can't be in two places at one time. See, that's how I talk. And they're like, they get mad. But them women's they loved having joe in that auxiliary <laughs> all right babe let's wrap it up wrap up your show folks finish my cookie thank uh -huh. you guys again for subscribing share like mm -hmm. and all that good stuff and like i always tell you guys without you guys i couldn't do it i need you guys thank you bye bye so when we come back again because vlogmas is done this is day 24 we're gonna start talking some topics like this thank god it done <laughs>